In this video, we are going to talk about the domain of a function. The domain of a function is actually the set of all possible input values for which the function is defined. Okay? The set of all possible input values for which the function is defined. Look at the first example that we have here. f of x equal to 2x. So, the domain of this function is the set of all values of x that will make this function to be defined. Now, this function does not have a square root, it does not have a fraction, it does not involve any uh, logarithmic function, for example, where we can make some restrictions on the domain. It is just plain f of x equal to 2x. So, under the set of real numbers, whatever value I place in for x or I put in for x, the result will be defined. I'm going to say that the domain is this. Is the set of all values, the set of all numbers x, which is a member of the set of real numbers. Full stop. This is the domain. Or if I do not write it this way, real number sets include negative and positive numbers. I'm going to say, sorry, this is a bracket. This, this is it. So what I'm writing there, this. From negative infinity to positive infinity. Here's the domain. Any of them is the domain. Now, for the second function, it has a square root. It has a square root. Okay? So, there is a restriction. Because a square root function is undefined whenever the number in the square root is less than zero. I'm talking about the set of real numbers. Okay? For example, under the set of real numbers, the square root of minus 5 does not exist. The square root of minus 9 does not exist. But on that complex number, actually, the square root of minus 9 is actually 3i. But that's not what we're talking about. So, any number that will not produce a real value, that's a real output value, will be excluded from the domain. In this function, we have the square root of x minus 3. And actually, if x minus 3 is negative, the function becomes undefined. So, it is only defined for values that are positive or great or 0. The square root of 0 is 0. So, it is defined. The square root of positive 9 is 3. And all other positive numbers have their square root. But for negative numbers, under the set of real numbers, it does, they don't have their square root. So, I will say, the function is defined only when s minus 3, which is this, is greater than or equal to 0. And it is undefined when it is now less than 0. So, it means that from here, x is greater than or equal to 3. So, all numbers greater than or equal to 3 will make this function to be defined. So, this is the domain. Domain is a set of all numbers x, and x is a member of the set of real numbers, such that s is greater than or equal to 3. This is the domain of this function in question 2. Now, if you look at question 3, f of x equal to 2 all over x minus 4. The function itself is a rational function. And for a fraction, a fraction is undefined whenever the denominator is equal to 0. So if the denominator of a fraction is 0, it is undefined. Division by 0, if you divide any number by 0, it is undefined. Alright? This denominator here, x minus 4, can be any value except zero. That's the point. So how do we know the value of x that will make this denominator to be zero? It is very obvious. If I plug in four here, four minus four is equal to zero. So two over zero becomes undefined. That means the function is undefined. Let's write it this way. The function is undefined. 
when x minus 4 is equal to 0. And by implication, it means that x is equal to positive 4 if you collect like terms. Minus 4 crosses and turns to a plus, so x equal to 4. So when x is 4, this denominator becomes 0 and the function becomes undefined. So all values of x excluding 4 will make the function to be defined. The domain, therefore, is this. This x is the set of numbers x, which is a member of the set of real numbers, except x equal to 4. Or I can say the set of numbers x, members of arrow, comma, x is not equal to 4. This is the domain of the function. Similarly, number 4. The function will be undefined whenever x is equal to 0. That is the denominator. So we are going to exclude 0 from the set of real numbers to make the domain. Okay. So we are saying the domain is the set of numbers x, which is a member of the set of real numbers, comma, x is not equal to 0. 0 will be excluded from the set of real numbers so that we can get the domain of this function f of x equal to 1 over x. The domain of this function f of x equal to the square root of 1 minus x squared. As far as we are concerned under the set of real numbers, no negative number is supposed to be in this square root. That means all numbers in this square root must be greater than or equal to 0. So we are saying that the function is defined, okay, when 1 minus x squared is greater than or equal to 0. All right, so let's make x the subject of the formula. All right, so um, this would be minus x squared is greater than or equal to minus 1. And if you divide both sides by minus 1, to remove this minus from the x squared, the inequality sign will be reversed. So we will obtain x squared is now less than or equal to positive 1. So the rule of inequality says that if we have x squared less than or equal to k, for example, it will be negative square root of k less than or equal to s less than or equal to the positive square root of k so by implication if i use this principle here it will be negative square root of one less than or equal to x less than or equal to the positive square root of one so this is the interval that is the value the range of values of x for which this function is defined all right so i'm going to say that the domain of this function is this, the set of numbers x, member of the set of real numbers, such that negative the square root of 1, okay, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to the square root of 1. Actually, the square root of 1 is 1. So the domain, in simple terms, is the set of numbers x, member of the set of real numbers, such that minus 1, because the square root of 1 is 1, so the minus is still there, less than or equal to x, less than or equal to positive 1. This is the domain of the function. This is it for domain of a function of single variables. Keep supporting by subscribing to this channel, like the video, and share it with your friends and your classmates. I will see you in the next one.